In this video, I'll break down how to use my really cool Essential Transitions Pack, which is for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. It comes with a total of 30 plus easy drag and drop transitions that you can just simply apply in between your clips and create some really cool looks. Once you purchase the pack, it should just send you an email with a link to the actual download file. Now it should be a zip file called essentialtransitions.zip. Now to unzip a folder, all you want to do is just simply double click on it and it should just reveal a folder called essential transitions. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to go, click on home, go to movies, open up motion templates, and then go to your transitions folder and take the essential transitions folder and just drag it into the transitions folder in your motions template folder. So if I open up the transitions folder right here, go to essential transitions, this is what it should look like. It should have all these different transitions and if I open up one of them, this is what they should look like. So it should look like something like this. You wanna make sure this icon is really important. This means it's a transition. So if we go back, as you can see, here are all, here are all the transitions that should come in the folder. Now if we go back and make sure again, transitions folder, your, tra your transitions folder, so transitions folder in your motion template folder and literally all you gotta do is just simply drag it into that folder and it should automatically be updated in Final Cut. A couple of things I would do is if it's not working, try updating Final Cut. I would also encourage you to actually close out Final Cut before you go ahead and install these um, transitions. If you have any issues with any any kind of installation issues or the transitions aren't working, send me a DM on Instagram and I will do my best to help you fix the issue. So once you have all the transitions installed, you want to just hop back into Final Cut. Now these are all the transitions that are going to come with the um, pack. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and play all these clips. These are the, not some of the transitions or a couple of them. These are literally every single transition that you're going to receive when you get these really cool, when you, when you purchase this really cool transition pack. Again, some of these transitions are really cool and I hope you really enjoy them. So these are literally, again, every single transition that comes in the pack. Now to go ahead and actually locate the transitions, what you want to do is head over here to this tab right here, open this right here, and then this, this is like your transition section. And what you wanna do is you wanna find the category essential transitions, and here they all are. So there again, there are a total of 32 transitions. So I'll go ahead and just scroll down really slow so you can go ahead and kind of just see every single transition that comes in the pack. So these are literally all of them. It took me a really long time to make them, so hopefully you really enjoy them. So again, here are all the transitions, and there we go, all 32 transitions that come with the pack. So let me show you how to actually apply these transitions onto your clips and kind of how to customize them a little bit. So if I play the clip right here, this is what it is, it's just simply just two clips. Now to actually apply these transitions, what you wanna do is you wanna find the cut point. Again, head over here to the transitions tab and scroll down and we'll go ahead and just locate one. Let's do a shake three. So once you locate, you can go ahead, as you can see, you can hover your uh, mouse right here to kind of get a, a relative idea of what the transition is going to look like. So let's take, let's say we wanna use, so again, if you go here you kind of like you can kind of get a preview window of what the transition is actually going to look like so let's say we want to use shake three so take the transition and literally just drag it in between your two clips and literally just as simple as that so what we're going to do is just drag them in between your two clips so if i go ahead and play the clip right here as you can see there you go this really cool like shake but let's say for example that is you know it doesn't quite look right what you can do is you can select on this transition so make sure it's highlighted in yellow and you can use your mouse to drag it so basically what you're doing is you can see we're changing the frame we're basically decreasing it so we're making the transition faster so now it's going to happen a little bit faster so if i play the clip right here as you can see see it happens faster but let's say we want it to go slower so see we can select in this transition and now we can just drag it out so now the transition is going to happen a little bit slower so it just depends some transitions are better sped up and some transitions are a little bit better kind of like stretched out so we play the clip right here as you can see now that the transition is lasting a little bit longer so if you see right here let's go ahead and play a couple of this so we have this really cool twirl shake but as you see see some of these are like applied for a longer period of time so we go ahead and play right here there we go, see so applied for a little bit of a longer time. Now one thing I want to do, go over too is how to use the Polaroid transitions because it's a little bit different than the other ones. All the transitions are simply like, like I showed before, just drag them in between your two clips and adjust the speed, basically if you want to have it faster or if you want to have it, it or if you want the transition to happen a bit slower. So that's it all depends on you. But one transition is a little unique and that is the Polaroid frame overlay. So if I hover over this transition right here and I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. As you can see here these really cool like Polaroid 
temporary frame of release. Now this is a little more advanced than the other transitions. So what you want to do is you want to select this transition right here. As you can see, see here are all the drop zones. And all it is is basically it's just in order. So here's the first one, the second one, the third one. So you can see the first one comes up. Now we're going to go to the second one. So the second one matches with this second one. And the third one right here, this third one matches with this one. So it's all like a sequential order. So that should be pretty easy. Now we'll just go ahead and basically just show you how to do it. So as you can see right here, this transition. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this X right here to clear the photo. So this is what your this is what it's going to look like. Actually, I'll go ahead and reset um, the scale, the parameters, all the position, and all that kind of stuff. And I'll go ahead and just reset it all. So this is what it should look like. It should just have this like drop zone icon. Now, if you're wondering how do I get the photo into that, what you want to do is you want to first locate the drop zone. So here's the first one again, second one, third one. So that this is the first one that appears. Now, what you want to do is you want to locate a photo you want to use. So let's say we want to use this one, photo one. All you want to use is just like a PNG or a JPEG image or just a screenshot. What you want to do is you want to select this transition and you want to click on this drop zone. So cl literally click on the drop zone, click on the photo you want to use, click on apply clip and there you go. As you can see now the photo is inside the Polaroid frame overlay. Now you can head over here to the pan and scale and customize as you can see we can pan that we can move the photo over so we want to say we want to move over here we want to actually scale the photo up and you can go through and adjust the position the rotation the scale the actual polaroid overlays so it's very customized it's very easy to customize so we play the clip as you see there we go now the photo is in and the polaroid frames are already pre-animated so you don't have to worry about that you could also try adjusting the actual position of the polaroids but that's just all up to you it really depends on what you want to do but that's the only transition that's really um, customizable so again a lot of these transitions really aren't super customizable they're kind of already built in this one is a little customizable so we select Selecting this trans um, transition right here, and I go to the blend mode. I can basically just tr change the blend mode to like a different one. So screen, I, I have it like defaulted on difference because I just think that looks a lot better. But the, the, the um, this uh, film flash and the Polaroid frame are really the only transitions that are like customizable. The other ones, if I see if I click on it right here, there really is nothing to change because I didn't really feel like there's any really anything to change. They're already pre-built. So see, and that's basically how you, how you use it. So literally, just simply drag it on the clip, adjust kind of like how fast or how slow the transition you want it to go and then again you can customize the polaroid frame overlay and you can go through and change the blend mode of the, of the film flash transition now one issue you may run into is when you're trying to apply a transition onto a clip there's an error message that comes up and says there's not enough extra media so let's say we want to place the rgb split transition in between these two clips so i go through right here and try to apply this transition in between these two clips right here so i tried to take the transition and apply it in between these two clips as you can see an error message comes up there's there's not enough extra media so what you want to do is click on cancel now what you have to do is there has to be a little bit of extra media so if I take this clip right here and try to extend it as you can see I can't extend it so what I need to do is I need to take this clip right here if I zoom out I need to take this clip right here and I just need to drag it over a little bit so let's say something like five frames we want to select this right here and we want to drag it over like five frames now you need to be able to actually extend the trip extend the actual clip there has to be a little bit of like media in between it it can't just apply it onto like the very last frame so now if we try to apply the rgb split onto the clip right here there you go as you see simple as that now the transition works so if you play the clip right here now you have this really cool rgb split so if it doesn't actually like apply onto the clip what you want to do is you want to trim the very you want to trim a little bit of the the first clip and then you want to again trim a little bit of the second clip there needs to be a little bit of media so you, so you can see right here see this transition it's actually using a a little bit of this clip right here and it's also using a little bit of this clip right here that's why we actually extended it so it's kind of it's kind of weird how it how it um, actually works but it actually needs a little bit of media to attach onto in order to actually create the transition anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you really like this essential transitions pack it took me a long time to make it and hopefully it just saves you a lot of time so instead of having to actually like apply these effects and keyframing it just simply drag and drop transition so hopefully that makes your life a lot easier again it's for sale on my store winkinsmedia.com the link is down in the description below now if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.